Today I'm going to talk to you about getting started with the Facebook Unity SDK using our example game Friends Mesh. So first I'm going to show you Friends Mesh and show you just what kind of game it is. Then I'm going to show you how to get the Friends Mesh project. Then I'm going to show you how to import the Facebook Unity SDK into it and then get your app set up on the Facebook developer site and then I'll show you some code and uh, then I'll, I'll, again I'll come back to this demo and I'll show you exactly what the code I showed you does so that you understand how to get uh, the SDK working. So this is Friend Smash. Uh, it's an example game that we've made and you can see it has some social components. Uh, that's my name, my profile picture some buttons down here which do some things with your friends. Uh, there's a full screen button here because I'm showing you the browser based canvas version. This would not be here for your iOS or Android version specifically. And over here on the right here are some, some of my friends and how well they've done uh, playing Friend Smash. So here I'll just show you what Friend Smash is like. Uh, you can see it's sort of a uh, Fruit Ninja style game, and you you know you try to click your friends as they come by, and every time you click them successfully, you get a point. Here I go, get some more points, and oh, clicked on Arnold. All right, here you can see four points, and real quick, just some some buttons for doing social things, social Facebooky things. Now that I've shown you Friend Smash, I'm going to show you how to get the code for it so that you can try to get it yourself and test for yourself. So what you're going to search for is search on Google for Friend Smash Unity. And here you can see the very first one, FP Samples Friend Smash Unity. So you can get this here on GitHub, github.com slash FP Samples slash Friend Smash hyphen Unity and just come on over here to a terminal and we'll just do git clone there you go cloning into friend smash unity there we go project downloaded and then I'm gonna fire up unity so uh, unity here you, go, here you can see it's opening up the project for the first time and once you have the project open you'll see down here an error. The name FB does not exist in the current context. The Friend Smash project doesn't compile out of the box because you have to get the Facebook SDK imported to use it. So uh, one way you could do that, you can go to Assets and this is what I've done, Import Custom Package. And so here you can see we've got the Facebook SDK .unity package that we want. Download it. You click Open see some files, import, and now you're going to see the files being copied into your project. Uh, these are your, your files for iOS and for Canvas, uh, and in particular for this example, your files for building for Android. So now that you've imported the project, you can see no more errors. Uh, what we want to do now is you want to come up here to the menu. Now you may not see it right away. Uh, it seems to be a Unity glitch of some kind, but I've noticed that if I click on a menu, suddenly you get the Facebook menu appearing. So this Facebook menu is how you configure your app for running uh, with Facebook. And what we'll do is we'll click on Edit Settings, and you'll see over here you get a little warning, Invalid App ID, and a place to stick your app ID. So now that we've got the SDK imported, let's hop over to the developer site and get an app ID. Pop open a new tab, developers.facebook.com and over here you see a way to select apps and select create new app. So let's call this friend smash unity and app namespace. We don't need it because we're just building for Android. This is something if you want to build for Canvas. And we're making a game! Friend Smash Unity. It is definitely an action game. So we click continue. 
And now you get a capture. And here you have it, the configuration page for the app you've just made. Uh, you can see here you got the title, Friend Smash Unity, and here's the app ID. That's what we need to give to the Unity editor so that we can build this app. Well, that's the first thing we need anyway. So back over here in Unity, we paste in the app ID we just got, paste it here. You can see a section over here for naming your app. That's just for, for your purposes only. It doesn't mean anything except as a reminder in case you want to run multiple apps on Facebook against the same code base. Say, friend smash debug. And then if later on you have a release version, you can have the same code but build against two different app IDs. So now that we've done that, let's go over to the build settings, click on Android, and then we're going to put player settings here. So down here you're going to need a bundle identifier. It's already filled out for you with Friends Smash Unity, com.facebook.fs, but just for fun we're going to say com.facebook friend smash unity. You take that and you copy it and back down here in the browser you come down to native Android app you open that up and then here in the package name you paste in com.facebook.friendsmash unity so this next field, class name, that's just what we're going to send an intent to to start up your your app. Uh, so that's that's going to be your your main activity. We set this up for you a little bit in the the editor. If you come over here to Android build settings and you pop it open, you can see here uh, package name, which uh, we just cut and pasted in, and then also class name com.facebook.unity.fbunity player activity. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And then the next thing is a key hash to identify your app. Uh, and again, uh, we have it set up here so you can just copy, copy and paste your, your debug key hash if you'd like. So you copy that. Come over here back to Chrome. Paste it in. Click Save, and now you're all set up for Android. So before I dive into building the app, or before I go ahead and build the app, I'm just going to go to Scripts, Main Menu, and I'm going to go over the code that's going to be called to make your game social. There's four functions you need to know about. fb.init, fb.login, fb.feed and fb.appRequest. Um, first up I'm going to cover fb.init and fb.init that's just that just gets everything set up and running. Uh, don't worry too much about it. it it's just something you got to call before you call your next function which is fb.login. fb.login is the call that you have to make to get permission to do anything on Facebook. And uh, in particular, this is where you ask for the things you want from the person who's playing your game. So here you can see we ask for email and publish actions. And publish actions means posting stuff to their to their timeline and to their to other people's feed, among other things. Um, after fb.login, we'll scroll down to fb.feed. FP.feed is the function that you call to let users post to their timeline and uh, and those stories posted to their timeline will show up in their friends feeds. This is the one to many channel for Facebook and the stories that show up here will be likable and they can be commented on by the friends of the people people who play your games. Next I'll cover fb.app request. There's two forms of this in 
main menu.cs. The first is the simplest to call. It takes two parameters, a message and a title. And what this, fu what this function call does is it'll pop up a dialog with a list of all the friends that the player has, and then they can go through and they can select which ones they want to send app requests to. The second version of this function call is when you specify a to recipient explicitly. If you do this, a dialog will pop up to just that friend with the message that you specify. App requests are sort of your one-to-one -one channel. They, uh, they say it's for friends when they, people playing your game who say, you know, I really want to tell person X about this game. So there you have it, the four key functions, fb.init, fb.login, fb.feed, and fb.appRequest. So now that you've set everything up, you can go to File, Build Settings, If you click on development development build you'll get some you'll get some logging messages from us that may help you figure things out and you click build and let's just say call it android click save and that's everything you need so i'm not set up to do a screencast directly from an Android phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the Canvas version of Friend Smash Unity again and explain what's going on there with the social calls and how they correspond to what you might do on an Android phone. So again, this is Friend Smash Unity on Canvas, but it's actually the exact same code that I showed you from the SDK import earlier. So again, here's Friend Smash Unity. You can see here, um, here's, here's the brag button. This corresponds to the fb.feed call. So here you can see this is a feed post dialog. And I'm going to say, you know, this game is awesome. You know, because Friend Smash is awesome. And people can control their privacy over here. Uh, I can say only me if I want and share that. And done. And now that shows up on my timeline for me to remember for all time. Uh, secondly, I'll click on challenge here. So now you might remember that uh, Song Mai and I uh, was the one I was clicking on earlier. So this is the directly to one person request. And the, the final version of the fb.app request call is the, you have to do this without having played the game once. It's just how Friend Smash is designed to show you both these behaviors. But if you click on Challenge without having played a game yet, and it just shows you uh, all your friends and lets you pick directly. So I'm going to send Brian an invite. So there you have it. The Facebook Unity SDK as demonstrated using the Friend Smash Unity sample app. Uh, what have we shown you? We've shown you how to import the SDK into a Unity project. Uh, I've showed you how to get the Friend Smash project directly. I've showed you how to go to the developer site and get yourself set up, get your app set up with us so that you can use our services, uh, how to create an app ID, how to set up your app for Android, and I've shown you the four basic functions that you can call to make your app social and make it interact with Facebook. That's the fb.init, fb.login, uh, where you ask for permissions, fb.feed, the one-to-many, and fb.appRequest, which is the one-to-one -one channel. I hope you found this to be at least somewhat useful. And uh, now that you've seen this, go give it a try and give us some feedback. Thank you very much.